Hey, what's going on guys? Good to good day wasn't here. Today I'm going to show you how to set up AVI economy. Now this plugin is actually an alternative to economy, which requires MySQL. However, in this plugin, you don't actually need MySQL and instead uses a NoSQL database. Basically, in simple terms, it creates a file inside the plugin folder, which is the database, and it acts as a temporary database that allows you to edit and change things without needing any kind of server database. Now we're going to go ahead and install it. I'm going to open it. And you should see two files in the extracted folder. I'm going to go ahead and navigate ourselves to the rocket folder. And inside plugins, we drag the AVI economy into the plugins. And libraries into the rocket library. If you look inside the libraries, you just have two files. Now I can exit out the download of AVI Common. And we could go ahead and run the server. Now that the server's loaded, you can see the plugin has loaded. We're going to navigate ourselves into the AVI economy and edit the configuration with Notepad++. If you can see here, it says database name, you can just leave it as default. The tax, the initial balance from when players need players join, they will be given this amount. What you want your currency name to be, the symbol. You can also change this to whatever symbol you want, such as pounds, euros. If you want the currency symbol before the balance, for example, if you want it to be behind here, you set this as true. If you want the symbol after the balance, you set this as false. Now the experience exchange rate is basically if you want to exchange XP for money, depending on the rate. So if you put some one here, one experience will equals one credit, one to one. And that's about it. So we're going to leave everything at default for now. And since we didn't edit anything, we can just close out of it. The next thing we're going to need is the light database viewer. This allows you to basically edit the database, just like MySQL editing tables and the records inside of it. So the link will be down in the description down below. And we're going to click on the setup.exe to download it and we're going to run it. Gonna click next, next, install, finish. Once that's finished, you can go ahead and close it. Now we also need to edit the permissions for the AVI economy. So loading up the permissions file and we're gonna add the permissions. So I'm gonna add a set of permissions so I can edit them. Now the first permission we're going to need is balance. Now the permissions are actually stated right here. So we can go ahead and copy and paste it in. So this allows you to check other people's balance. So we're not going to add that in. Obviously we want people to be able to pay each other. Show incoming transactions for your own account. For example, when you pay someone or when you receive money, you can see your previous history of when you paid someone or when you received. And same as the one above, but except this one's for outgoing payments. And we also got the exchange XP to money. And the transaction log for everyone in the server. So we're not going to add that in. And I'm just going to delete this access permission right here. Go ahead and save it. And we're gonna close out of it and we're gonna do P reload in console. Now we're gonna to have to restart the server. And you shouldn't be able to see the white text that we had before. Now once you have joined the server, you wanna type slash balance in game. And that should generate the database file 
in AVIE economy. So if we go into the AVI economy folder, see a general file called bank. And if we go into our Windows apps and click on the Lighter Database program that we've installed, you will open this pop-up and you want to navigate yourself to the AVI economy folder. Click on bank, open. Be brought to this pop-up window. And if we click on bank accounts, can see my ID and how much I have. Now if you want to edit the player's balance, you can do so by going to the wiki page on the Light Database Viewer. So to update a player's balance, you just want to click on the box to the left of ID, view row as object, and you should see these two values view as string and click view as string again and you want to copy this whole string and right under query you just want to delete right after the bank accounts dot and you want to enter update and paste the string that we copied and you want to edit the balance right here to where we work for example $50 and if we click enter, it will open another collection with result true. If we click back into bank account, our balance will be set to 50. And if we go in game and type balance, you see you have 50 bucks. Now the list of commands are pay, player name, and the amount. So obviously I can't pay myself, but if you have another person in game, you can pay someone else. You can also view the transactions in and out that you paid and received. So to view your history of who you've paid, just do TR out and the page number. So example page one. And if you want to view your history of transactions that you've received, TR in and page one. If you want to change from XP to credits or bucks, you can do so by typing EXC and the amount. So I have six experience right now. If you type in six, see that I've exchanged six XP for 5.4 bucks since our rate was 0 0.9. So we have a, another person who's joined, and if you want to refresh the database you can just press enter on the query command you can see after his name once he's typed slash balance now if we pay this guy credits for example one credit and you can see the tax now if we type in tr log one on the console can now see the log of everyone who has paid and received. And if we close our light database viewer and reopen the file back again, you should be able to see a new collection which is transactions. And you can see the list of all the place transactions on the server. And that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please leave a like if it helped. And as I said, this plugin is mainly for people who don't want to use MySQL and the trouble of setting it up. So if you don't want to set up MySQL, this plugin is for you. Personally, I find this plugin pretty good for new server owners, especially when setting up MySQL is a bit hard. So see you guys next time.